Uh, so the t testosterone levels, right? Isn't it true that, if, especially for the young audience watching, right? If you, if you bodybuilder, you take testosterone, and you stop doing it, your levels basically will never be normal. You gotta continue being on testosterone for the rest of your life. Is that is that true? If, if you took it for a long time, If you course. have a career as a bodybuilder, then you yeah, always I mean, you depend know, on it. You, 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 I mean, listen, if you're taking it for a long time, you're definitely gonna suffer the consequences. You know what I'm There's saying? There's no way going around it. So that's why everybody that works with me, I almost can guarantee you that they can get off the stuff and they never have to be on it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, dude, you know what? You're gonna make me take my jacket off. <laughs> but I wanna show you. Here's a guy that I had, you know, I had cancer, right? I almost died. I'm not a big guy, but you can see, you see the skin on my, on my you know, I had six pack, all you, what do you think? That's because I gotta take steroid? No. You know, I can't take steroid because when you have cancer, it's now there are so many studies show that it, you know, if your IGF level is too high, it could be cause of a cancer too. You I heard that saying? too, right? Yeah, and, and I love it how people are like, should I take IGF? And I'm like, dude, please relax, you know what I mean? You guys, like everything, like if I, if I can go market like a bullshit now and say, oh my God, take this stuff, it could be cortisone or whatever, but make you blow up and you know what? People will use it. I don't understand it, man. This is your temple. God gave us that body so we can protect it. So we can, you know, so don't just, you know, well, I don't, I never use drugs or I never smoke or I don't, you, well, you're taking steroid like it's out of style. That's worse, you know what I'm saying? Dude, there is a pro bodybuilder I was helping. I made him to be like 260 pounds. You guys, I'm not even, I swear on my sickness. I made him like 260, he looked like a beast, right? He's 25 years old. I told him, okay, listen, we've been four on now. We have to take a break. So I put him on two, three weeks. He, Coach, I gotta get big. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? Look at you were you were you were 202, 212 guy. Now, now you're only 25 years. I'm like, don't you want to have kids and stuff? You know what he did? On the third week, he hired another coach. He left me. You know what I you know, you know what my response was? I said, I know why you left. I hope you the best of luck. But I hope you're not gonna be sorry. That's it. I hope you're not gonna be sorry because I don't want them to be like, oh my God, why did I do? Because the problem is, you know, when you're 25 and 26 and even 30, you think you're invincible. Dude, wait till you get sick. You know, my grandpa told me a great thing and I never thought about it because I was 11 years old. I didn't know what he's talking about. He said, you gotta promise me when you get a little older, you gotta visit three places. I said, where are they, grandpa? He said, first one, the hospital. I said, why? He said, because when you see the sick people, how they're suffering, you'll understand how important your health is. And damn it, when I was in that bed, guess who I thought about all the time? My grandpa, he is so right. Dude, you know how many nights I'm crying at night? I'm by myself, I can't. My wife, she gotta go to work, my sister, my friend. I mean, some of my friends, they really like wanna stay, but I feel bad, I'm like, you guys go, but you know, you, you feel so like, oh my God, what happened to me? You know what I mean? You know, here I am, that big bodybuilder used to walk and everybody look at me and now I'm, I'm like this, you know? But I didn't care, you know? Because I thought about my grandpa, but he said, and he's so right. He said, second place, he said, you go to prison. And man, I had a good friend of mine. We had a company, you know what I mean, together. And to see them and see their kids left behind, all this because they went a little bit greedy and they want to get some more money or whatever. I mean, that's my understanding from the whole story. And they end up in prison. You don't understand how hard it is to see one of your good friend in prison, man. His, he have his freedom taken away. Again, man, I thought of my grandpa. In the third place, and this is very important, my grandpa told me, go to somebody's funeral and make sure he's a rich guy. I said, why, grandpa? He goes, because I want you to see how much he's going to take with him. You know what you take with you? Nothing. Just the way you came. You're taking nothing with you in life. So these people, they, they I wanna be a champion so I can make money. Dude, don't. Because first of all, your health. 
You know what I'm saying? Be careful. And like I said, everybody can be a champion and a healthy one too. There's no reason for you to kill yourself. You know, back to the original question, can they do it? Of course they can. You know, maybe it's gonna take them a little longer, but guess what? You, your longevity is gonna be more. I mean, may God bless Dexter, he's 50 years of age, man. His body's still like he's in his 20s. You know what I'm saying? Why? Is because he the anomaly though, or is it something he's doing right? Was it, is he just because? No, because he something he's doing right. I mean, me and him, we've been now for 10 years together. He, this guy listened to everything, man. Like he doesn't eat a gum if it's not there. Even like he laughs and he likes junk food, but I know him better. He's so worried about his health. You know what I mean? Like he, he, like he listens to me and his girl always like, mentioned to me about, you know what, George, you're right about the herb. I read about this, you know, the ginger and this and that, you know? So, so when you see somebody listening to you, that I mean, he does worry about himself. Come on, man. You know, the, the, the bottom line is, if you are a good man, and I mean that, if you're a good man, that means you're not a selfish man. And if you're not a selfish man, you have to take care of you, right? You know what I call this? I call it, it's so funny because we were just, we were just at the, at, on, the, on the plane and I thought about it and I was writing stuff. You know, I call it the mask syndrome. You know what's a mask syndrome? You know when you're on the flight and they tell you, in case of emergency, if something happened, put your own mask first before helping the others, your kids and stuff? You know, so this is my question to people, you know. Which one is more important, your vision or speech, or hearing, or your brain? Which one is important, your brain or your heart? Which one is more important? There isn't any, right? There isn't. So why we don't think about it when it comes to our health, to us? You know, like people, they wanna do stuff. They, they wanna get in shape. Well, you know, I can't now because my kid's school and you know what, I'm so busy and I gotta take care of my work. Guess what? You're doing something wrong. You're picking something over something. Pick you. If you're not selfish, pick you. That's not being selfish, you know why? Because if you really love your kids and love your family and your husband and your sister and stuff, you gotta take care of you because that's the only way you're gonna be able to take care of them later on. You see what I'm saying? So that's the mess syndrome, I call it, you know? Right? If you don't take care of you, how are you gonna take care of the people you care about? That mean you're selfish. I like it when people tell me, well, when you die, you die, you know. I don't care. No, dude, I'm not worried about you dying. How about you have a stroke and you can't talk and you can't walk anymore, and now I gotta push your fat. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, like, like a doctor told me that we were, we were doing, you know, we were doing a seminar, and he said, well, you know, when you die, you die. I looked at him, I said, you know, doctor, with all the respect, I said, what are you, like, uh, 60? He looked at me, he goes, no, I'm 40. I'm like, well, you look 60. Your wife looked very young. I said, you know what? If something happened to you, I said, I'm not talking about dying. How about a stroke? How about something you can't walk or provide your kids? I said, you know, I'm sure with, I heard you have a lot of money. I'm sure a lot of people will hook up with your wife immediately. He didn't like it, so he came and signed up with me. But you know what I'm saying? Dude, listen, I, the, the, there's, there's two type of people in the world. Like I said it and I say it before, man. There's two type of people. People that make excuses and people that make a way. So which one you wanna be? That's what I tell people. You can make excuses as much as you want. But back on, on the steroid, honestly, I think you can be healthy and be a champion, but you must take your time. You don't just rush things, man. There's no reason to rush things. Your life is the most important thing. Your health is the most important thing, like we said, you know what I mean? So, so you gotta live your life to the fullest. You gotta be smart about it. You gotta do the right thing, man. So you can, you, yeah, you can, you can get the fruit of the benefit of the, being a pro and, and make money if you can. God bless you, you know what? But dude, you don't wanna make all the money because like what we said, man, at the end, you're not gonna take nothing with you. You know, you're not gonna, so, so it's not everything about money. So you gotta be smart. You gotta, you gotta take care of you so you can take care of the others.